Let's take a look at our scroll zoom widget. So it's in our edition three add-ons library. Let's just drag it onto the page here. And let's rescale this. So this particular widget doesn't render to the design view, renders in the preview view. So we have this nice little icon here telling us what this particular panel is. And in our settings here, we can just um, we can set our initial zoom. So do we want it zoomed in or zoomed out initially? And there's and then the opposing um, zoom in, zoom out. So let's say for instance we had this set to one and this to two. Then when you scroll down the page, this would zoom from normal to 200% bigger. Um, or we can set it to large. So we've got it uh, 1.15. 1.15 here. That's the initial scale, and then it'll zoom out to its normal size. So we can we can either zoom in or zoom out. We can set the offsets as well. So this is the offset: how far down, how much of this um, image from the top needs to be displayed before the zoom happens, or how much does the image need to be the bottom of the image need to be in view before the animation happens and then the speed of the animation so let's move this down the page let's move it to there and i'm going to set my page properties to let's say 2000 or let's say 3000 doesn't really matter and then you notice that we have our image referenced here and i'm just going to load that image up so i'm going to go to file Add files for upload. I'm going to go to my edition three widgets, scroll zoom, and we'll load up the example file here. And then when I hit preview, let's preview the page in the browser. We can see that as we scroll up and down the page, our zoom is activated. Now this is fully responsive as well, so we can make it 100% width. And let's have a preview of that. So now we've got a nice full width and we can see that nice uh, effect happening as we move up and down. It just adds a nice bit of motion to the page and is activated by scroll. So we thought it would be a useful widget for you.